that the dude fish. Oh god, it's her. Oh my god, she shows herself. Oh, it's a good fish. Here we go, here we go. Scoop. Boom! Fish we freaking have been after for the past three days. Okay, literally 10 minutes after I talk to you, like everything's changing. I'm gonna turn around. Look at this weather. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this well. Look at the cloud. Oh. Yeah, it's coming out. Look at the clouds there in the front. We can just hear the rain and stuff coming in. This is not good. Mega gust front coming. We're about to get smoked. I'm putting this camera away. We're putting our rain gear on. I can literally see the wind and the rain. It's literally 200 yards away. We're about to get hit in a minute. Okay, I'm putting this away. The weather today has been all over the place. It's been like hot summer, cold rain, and now we're about to just get slaughtered. So, okay. All right, that's... That's not good. Good riddance. Away. Look at oh, that stuff. No. Oh my god. No. Dude, where, where, where's the bibs? I oh my god. Fucking strap bang, bitch. Here comes the rain. <laughs> yeah, bro. This is, that came out of nowhere. Not good. This is the this is the end of that storm, dude. That's yeah. 100%. Okay, so basically we put our cameras away. We got on the big motor and we pull up on the back side of this island because it was the only thing that would like protect us from the wind. So we just pulled up on the back side of this island and now it's starting to like thunder and lightning. And uh, we just, we need to get off the boat because it's not safe to be on the boat when it's lightning literally right above our heads. So we found this island and literally on this island is like an abandoned house. It looks like it hasn't been lived in in years. So. Uh, we might just at least go Dude, hang out up there. There is nothing else around here. We're like, there's not even cabins on this section of the lake. We just rolled up on this island. Like, how many miles are we from from where we're staying? Like, we're far away. Dude, we're like, we're good. Yeah, I don't even, we're far. We're pretty far. So, we, I mean, like, we're not running back now. Honestly, let's just pop up on this island, chill here till this passes, if it passes. Yeah, and dude, then... it's still looking pretty sketchy right now. Red Rocket, we'll be back. Oh my gosh. Hello? 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 Okay, if this house doesn't just scream oh creepy. God. I don't know, dude, it's something. We're out of the wind now. It looks like they have a couple paddle boats that have been used not exactly recently. Uh, a couple chairs, an old extension cord. This house looks a hundred years old. And this is just like a tiny little island. Like it's not much bigger than just like the house. You'd have to get to this by plane, right? Like how I would don't you? Know, dude. There's no like you. I guess you could boat in. Like a twenty know. mile boat ride. Like how would you build this, dude? I don't know. This is weird, but I mean, at least we're out of the boat. Super weird. Just good to be out of the boat, though, to be honest. Like I've said in other videos, like I don't, I don't trespass. I don't condone trespassing. Uh, if it's not your land get off it But when it comes to like a safety situation that we need to get off the water and at least get out of the boat while it's thunderstorming um, I can I can justify this any day. So let's just go see if anybody's home in here I guess I guess we might as well check and uh, Just if they're home we can just say we're we're docking the boat on their island for literally Hopefully just 20 minutes Crime Stoppers, 1-800-222, no trespassing. You never know who's watching. Okay, well nobody's like exactly coming to the door and I'm not gonna go in their home if they're not home, so. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there is a roof here, so I think we're just gonna chill for a minute. So, uh, huge shout out to whoever's place this is. Sorry. We'll, we'll leave <laughs> in a minute. This is a creepy old home, dude. This is mad sketchy. I don't know. What is this? I don't know. Like a lamp? I think. A lamp. The freezer's got nothing cold in it. <laughs> I don't know.
That's what we wanted to see. That's what we wanted to see right there. The beautiful sunshine. That's awesome. I think it's um uh, I think it's finally clearing out. We've been just kind of hunkered down here for like 35 minutes and um, that was a pretty wicked system. Anytime you're up here in Canada, it's like you don't get cell service, so you can't really see if any systems are coming or any mad weather's moving through and it's just like it's it's up on you as soon as you see it. Like we saw that we saw that giant cloud and we're like that doesn't look good and in a matter of like 2 minutes, it was just downpouring on us. So Luckily this place was here, huge shout out to whoever's land this is and whoever's place it is. We got to at least sit in kind of your entryway, get out of the rain, get out of the thunderstorm. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we boat another fish now. Back out to the fishing, let's go. Let's go boat one more muskie tonight. This place just looks fishy. We didn't even like it. Was oh, fish on! Fish on! Instant! Instant! Get the net! Instant! Oh my gosh! Right in the cast! Get the net! Oh, stay pin! Stay pin! Get on the front. Oh my gosh. Feel good? Yeah. Feels good, bro. Feels good. Come on. She's coming up. She's coming up. Get her, get her. Get her, get her, get her. Get her, bro. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Sunset! Last light! Last light! Last light! I this spot. Dude! Yeah! <laughs> Give me some of that! Give me yes. some of that! Yes. Yes. yes! Can you guys see this in the background? Literally beautiful sunset. Oh, right on the tip of that point, right there. I made a totally long cast. Literally when the bait hit the water, it went whoosh. Dirty shallow. And we fought it all the way in and Ryan freaking made an awesome oh, net job. Dude, it was caught up in the rods again. We have so much crap in the boat. It's like <laughs> out of control. Literally last light, last spot. Just nonchalantly, we're just casting bomb and baits. Ryan's kept that chatter bait in his hand ever since he stoked his. And um, I've done the same, because I was like, man, that's just been the hot bait. Like, we haven't seen much sign on any other bait. They haven't shown themselves at all, basically. So he kept it in his hand, I kept it in mine. Two fish day, yes. total comeback. Like, today has been the craziest day. I'm talking to you guys really quick before we grab this fish out of the net. It's just chilling in there. <sighs> Rain and thunderstorms this morning then cloudy, super windy, then more rain, then it got really hot, and then it rained again. Then Ryan caught his fish, and right after Ryan caught his fish, it got like 75 degrees and sunny. We fished for an hour more, and all of a sudden, it's like thunderstorming and 20 mile an hour winds. We go hide on an island in a house. We wait that storm out, we're like, okay, we've got an hour and a half left to fish. We hit two spots, one spot we worked really, really hard, then we came and ran to this spot that Ryan's like, I saw a bunch of bait here yesterday on the side imaging. So we're like, oh, whatever, we'll hit it, it's last light. Boom, baby, boom, let's look at this fish. <sighs> Gorgeous evening, like I don't know what to say. Like this trip started out so hardcore where we're like, we weren't seeing fish, we weren't catching fish, we weren't even catching little pike. It was just like, um, it's turning out to be a total Cinderella story, dude. Thank you so much, Ryan. <laughs> yes. Last light, oh my gosh. Ryan stuck a beautiful muskie earlier today. We've just been fighting the elements and now last light, last spot, I stick a beautiful muskie on the chatterbait. I'm gonna show her to you. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh Red fins, I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous muskie. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get her back in the water. We're gonna get a couple pictures and then we're gonna let this beautiful girl go. Oh my goodness. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. She's beautiful. <laughs> I'm so pumped, dude. I can't even, oh, I can't even tell you what we did to get a couple of these muskies today. She's doing so good. And there she goes. There she goes, goodbye. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for the ride. Boom, baby! Give me some of that!
Yeah, uh, now I think we got something going. Oh my goodness. Victory food, talk to me. Victory dinner what tonight. Do, what do we got cooking for dinner? We got that mule deer shoulder that was in the crock pot all day. It was in there for like 12 hours or something ridiculous. When we opened up this truck bed in here, it was just like oh, flavor. It smelled so good. And Sam just reached in there and it was so tender. He just like picked it up. So I'm looking forward to that. We're doing some potatoes with some like bacon, just frying them up real quick. And we're gonna smash some food and I think we're gonna celebrate just a little bit. High spirits, yes. high spirits tonight. <laughs> Look at this beautiful fuzz. Show them, show them. Show them the bone in mule deer shoulder. This is a freaking masterpiece. This is like eating like kings out in the back of the truck. Uh, yeah. We just got this thing. Oh my god. It's so tender. We should this be able is to like, This is like six bone. pounds of meat, by the way. So I don't know bone. how we're gonna hose all this. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> falls right off. Right the off bone. the bone, baby. <laughs> That's gonna be primo. Oh my yes, goodness. I'm looking forward to that. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, it is an absolute beautiful morning out. Uh, fog is just rolling off the lake now. We've made it to spot number one. Today is our last and final day in the Ontario bush. Um, we don't have a full day of fishing today. I think we can only fish till about noon, and then obviously we have that like eight to 10 hour drive all the way back home. So we're just gonna utilize our time the best we can this morning, hit really high percentage spots that we either saw a fish, caught a fish, or Ryan has just a bunch of confidence in. We're not gonna explore it all. We're just gonna pop around, make a couple key casts on spots, move to the next spot. We're just really looking for one last hot fish of the trip that we can put in the net. So I'm feeling good. It's a beautiful morning. We're coming up high, high energy last night, and um, I think it's gonna happen. We have till noon. How you feeling? You know, I'm feeling really good. It's just like you got to make these mornings count. You only get so many up here, and you just want to freaking cast and cast and cast and knock one right in the face. So that's what happened last night on this exact spot. We came back right where we left off. So we're going to get going here and just freaking it Let's go. Let's yes. go, baby. Dude, I feel like we can go there with these chatter Fish on, fish, fish on, fish on. Uh, I don't know. He's coming up, he's coming up. Get him, oh, big bike. Nice, dude. Oh, that was cool. Give me some. Cool. That was cool. We're gonna get him back right away. Yeah. All right, first fish in the morning. Not a bad pike at all. We're gonna get him right in the water really, really quick. We got, we got muskies to catch. See you, little buddy. All right, got the blood pumping. Right, let's get a muskie. Good one. It's big. Other side. Other side. Oh. Other side. Other side. I don't know. It's a good sized fish though. Oh gosh. He's got a whiskey. Here we go. Here we go. Big pike. Big pike. Big pike. That a big. Alright. We were just running down a spot that we actually had a huge pike blow up yesterday and it's just a really good musky spot so we figured we'll just run it again because um, we've been having kind of a decent day actually and we're running down the spot and I just made a super long cast like two real turns in just absolutely got torqued and uh, oh we thought it was a musky for sure but it's a freaking stud pike so we just got it in the net I'm gonna get it unhooked real quick and I'll show it to you guys. All right, it's our second big pike of the day and uh, we're getting some freaking good fish in the boat today. That's a stud that pike, dude. That is a freaking dude. thick one. 
Oh my God. <laughs> Same deal on the chatterbait, just burning it across those shallow weeds. Oh man. She's kicking pretty good in the net, so I think she'll be okay. <laughs> yes, Give me some yes, of that. Yes. They're biting. They're biting. We're gonna, I think we got a really good shot at catching another muskie tonight. <laughs> oh, <Eddie. laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, so our final morning, which we only got to really fish the morning and a little bit in the afternoon, um, turned out just just as is. Uh, we caught a couple pike, but we didn't end up seeing any muskies. So this lake, I don't know if we really explained. A couple days before we came here, they had like three or four days of like 30 mile an hour west wind. Just crazy wind. Yeah. Yeah. Like not typical and it's just totally muddy like this is already a dirty lake like the water's really dirty but when we showed up it was just straight chocolate milk it was chocolate milk. unreal like nuts so that's crazy so like it, it was super cool in the fact that uh coming up to canada and fishing a lake like i've never seen before this is not lake of the woods this is not a lax sewell this is um nothing along those lines like this is a shallow muddy lake with um, a bunch of cabbage and coontail and a bunch of other weeds with like significant rock points. And it was like determining whether they're in the weeds, on the rock points, do we follow the bait? We were just kind of keeping our options open and I really felt like as far as learning more about muskies and their movement and their habits, uh, I learned a lot this trip. And that was a huge shout out to Ryan. Like he taught me so much. And that's my goal every time I go musky fishing is I know this much about it, you know what I mean? I just, I wanna learn as much as I can every time I go out with a musky head or just go out by myself. Like that's the point of all this is, this is such a hard fish to pattern and target. Uh, I just, I, I wanna keep learning as much as I can. Yeah. And what I are your mean, thoughts? I mean, like, you know, we grounded out two days of just like no fish, no follows, and then finally locating one. Yeah. And then going back and catching it. That was the coolest part. That was so cool. Like, it, uh. as soon as we finally like contacted a fish where we got a follow, one almost ate me both side, and me and Ryan look at each other like, the spot's primo. It was like a shallow rock bar that had coontail growing all over all it. It had all the elements you're looking for. It like was everything. just like, it was in a, a spot where you're like, all right, this is, this is where it <laughs> yes. should be. Yes. Two days later, or one day later yeah. happened, we returned to the spot and we're like, this fish lives here. Like we can get this fish. Yeah, and as soon as we got to that spot, I mean, we were like, this is the juice. This is where he lives. Yes. I made one cast across that cabbage bed and just- Like the same cast, the same, <laughs> the cast, same cast I made. Just, gr just burning that chatterbait across there and just whack, boom, way out on the cast. Wow. Load it up and like, it. that fight was wicked. I mean, I, I'm hoping the GoPro yeah. caught a lot of that, but like that fight was wicked. The fish was dogging under the boat, trying to get in the motor, like everything. And we got it in the net and it was just like, after getting our butts beaten in, like it was total like, yes. we just like took a deep breath. We were both shooken up and we just like, we were like locked yes. hands. It like, was like, yes. We got one in the net. We got <laughs> the one in the ice is boat. broken. Exactly, like, yeah. Like yeah. We're, not, we're not losing our minds. There's muskies here. And that was incredible. Like that fight alone was just like so violent and nasty. This fish had this bait gagged and um, he was going just crazy by the boat. So that was huge. That was crazy. That was awesome. And then uh, that day was incredible. Following that fish catch, there was like three different weather systems that moved in. As, as we were like unhooking this fish in the net, it got sunny out. We have our bibs and like our jackets and sweatshirts like it on. Was, it was like cold. It was cold. And then cold. it went to like searing hot. <laughs> and we're all like, we're, I like look at Ryan, he's like sweating, dripping, me too. And I was just like, this is nuts. Like this weather is nuts. No more than an hour later from that, we like felt this cold like, 40 degree wind blowing and we're like that, looking off in the distance like oh, oh. my god and like, you could see it coming yeah it was like, 
<laughs> a wall of rain, a wall of wind, and the, a wall you could hear the wind system. just ripping. Yeah, ripping. We are like we are racing to put our bibs on and stuff like that. So hectic. And then we just get hammered. We get totally hammered by this system. Uh, we seek shelter really quick. We get off the water. It was lightning and thunderstorming, and uh, no more than an hour after that, it it's like beautiful out. And, and now like, it's like no wind. No wind. Dead calm. <laughs> Eight thirty at night. We're like. Okay, we're, I mean, we have nothing to come back to, no cabin or anything, so we're like, we're, we just stayed on the lake. We're, yeah, just, we're fishing. we're good, we're good. So we fished this point, this big, like, there's like a chain of two or three islands, really small islands, that had a bunch of bait on it that we found on the side imaging earlier this week. And we're like, we gotta return on this spot. Like, there's so much bait here. Like, if there's a muskie in the area, he is, he is gorging and feeding on this bait. Yes. And, uh, we came around the turn of this point, and I'll let you. I'll let you tell. Oh my! It. Just watching this happen, like I did not catch this fish. Sam caught this fish, this but sick. just seeing this happen was just epic. We roll up on the point, and we make like a couple of casts, kind of down the point, and we're kind of sliding right up onto the rock spine coming off. And Sam makes this just bomb cast, like way, way Long. up, and lands it like right. I mean, like within inches of shore. Yeah. And it, it, I mean, this the water's got to be like that. I mean just that deep yeah and the bait hit the water and it just erupted just a massive explosion like i mean the fish like comes out of the water it, I was, mean, it was just it was nuts it was like if you've ever like thrown a frog for bass and you like almost startle them and they just roll up on it that's what it was but except a giant musky like i freaking tossed it way up there and as soon as the bait hit yeah. the water i see this musky's body roll up out and i'm like what and just on instinct i just went whack and, and just loaded whoa, up that it loaded rod, up and it was just like oh get in that get <laughs> and in it was that. way out like, like like that was a bomb cast full dude. cast length like i as far as i can cast and that lure bait, that's had to have landed on its face like just right Ooh, there gosh. it was instant oh, so we got that fish in the net that was totally crazy like last light like a beautiful ontario sunset is happening to my left and I'm holding a musky over here to my right. And like a beast, like a good one. <laughs> a good musky. And we were like, we we're like looking at each other like, after getting our butts kicked two days in a row, we have a two fish day. And it was just like, after everything that had happened, oh. it was um, it was mind blowing. It totally like, it made the trip. Whether we would have caught fish or not, like it would have been a totally amazing trip up here. But um, to have found some success, when uh, it looked like there was no hope was was truly incredible. Besides the fishing, Ryan and myself, we've we've had a blast on this trip. We basically, we didn't plan much for this. We threw stuff in the back of the truck. We paid little to no money to camp at this place. Like we, we don't even have power up here, but we can plug the boat in. It's totally like DIY, do it yourself. Yeah. I threw some deer meat in a cooler. He threw some deer meat in a cooler. We're just like basically drinking water eating peanut butter sandwiches and cooking meat in a crock pot to come home to a nice dinner at the end. So talk to me about the camping. I mean, the camping part is just like, you know, we went into this knowing like we're here to fish, Yeah. period. Like that's like, what we're doing. We need somewhere to crash at night, but like other than that, we're here to fish. So we just kept it super cheap. Like just didn't even bring that much gear, like straight up, just a little bit of camp stuff and a pile of musky gear and we just hit boat. it and that's the point like i guess if there's one thing i want to get across through this whole series in this video is that like if you and some buddies have a notion to come to canada and you think like you can't afford it or you can't do it you totally can you totally can like you could bring any boat you wanted up here all it takes is some gas money uh some food and water and bring your rods and reels and your baits because you can go to any one of these lakes dump in and just just learn it you know what i mean you might get your butts kicked we totally did but you might find some success too and when you do and you do it yourself like it's so sweet the reward <laughs> is like worth worth every bit of it like oh. musky fishing especially just kicks your butt. I, I haven't done a lot of musky fishing in my life, but every time I do it, like, I mean, it's kicking my butt and then it'll happen and you're like, oh my gosh, this is why this is one of the best freshwater fishing you could do in the whole Seriously. world. Seriously, it's, it's And addicting. when it does happen, it is so epic. Like, we, it is a, gr musky fishing is always a grind. It's never easy. I mean, yeah, you can have a phenomenal day or yeah. an epic trip, but overall it's a grind. And to get one in the net is just like, amazing it's like, like it is so it's amazing. sick also huge thank you to you guys the positive feedback throughout this series has been incredible um 
we love telling the story and capturing the moment and sharing with you guys everything. We just don't want to share the hook set and the catch because there's so much more that goes into it. We want to we want to capture the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I really think we did that this trip. So thank you guys so much for the positive feedback. Uh, anything? Any last words? Any shout outs? Anything you want to say? I mean, like, just the biggest thing is if you want a musky fish and you haven't before or you just want to do it more, you have to just go. That is like the biggest thing and it's tough. Like, and starting out, it's going to be a grind. And like, even today, like, we had experience out yeah. here and it was a grind. Like, we caught fish yesterday and we couldn't replicate it today, but. We're, go we're gonna keep coming back. We're definitely coming like, back. Just keep grinding and get out there and catch some muskies. If you've never done it, um, don't be intimidated to do it. I was always like never into muskies growing up because I just felt like I, I didn't know what to buy. I didn't know what was good. I didn't know where to go. And, and there's so much research you can do online where you can really figure out like this is my best opportunity at getting a muskie for just minimal setup or, or minimal gear. And uh, it's totally out there. The information's out there. So. Thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate you watching this whole series. Um, Ryan and myself had a blast filming it. I guess there's nothing left to be said and stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See ya.